This video is all about GeoGuessers and the GeoGuessr Challenge, the GeoGuessr Free Challenge. So enjoy it. Well, if you watched my first video a few weeks ago on GeoGuessers, I would have told you what it's all about, um, where the game originates from, etc., etc. You have to check that video out. But today. I'm going to take up a challenge, uh, it's in the free version of GeoGuessers. Um, you can visit the website and try it yourself. Just put it there. Sorry about that. And um, five rounds, it's the world challenge. Uh, five rounds of three minutes each. My average score, I've done 24 games so far since February, and my average score works out to about 11, it's about, it's 11,274 out of uh, 25,000 possible, so it's just below 50%. So I would say my average for today, maybe it's possible, but I'd like to get 10,000 out of 25 points, I think that would be a good score bearing in mind the time restrictions. So I'm going to play my 58, 50, sorry, my 25th game, so it's my Silver Jubilee game if you like, so enjoy round one. So here goes round one, as we can see it's a tree-lined road, uh, two lanes with an unbroken yellow line in the middle. As you see, the road surface is not that good. So we're possibly looking, uh, bearing in mind we've got the yellow line to somewhere in North America. And here we can see um, on our right, a uh, vehicle camper in the American style, and the road here is very straight. As we go along the road, we can see shortly that there are more vehicles in a roadside parking lot there. There's another camper as well. There's definitely not the south part of the United States due to the vegetation so I'm going to go for the north northern parts of the United States somewhere in Iowa where it's flat and there we are okay so not too bad I would say 2100 2416 points which I put on the scoreboard out of 2000 it is about just over 48% so we'll just write that in 48% from that round uh, which is more or less my average score um, so as I've said it's not too bad I was over a thousand kilometers out um, it is North America with the big differences I ignored the greener parts which can be found more towards the eastern side of the United States. So here's to round two. So this could be either in the northern part of Canada or in Scandinavia. Very few clues apart from that. So, so let's go here along here. Ah, there's some tree logs uh, 
placed beside the road on the right there. That's a rare clue, actually. <coughs> So that was quite a disaster actually, I simply just ran out of time and just plonked it uh, somewhere in North America way out, it happened to be uh, Scandinavia, um, so only 39 points that round, I was um, 7,252 kilometres out, so of the two rounds uh, 2,455 points and that's 24.5% uh, so that round was a disappointment let's see if round 3 is better so here we've got similar to the first one there's a lot of green vegetation it's a narrow lane with a gravel verge and here on the right uh, what appears to be a horse paddock up from the left going towards a dirt track the signboard is unreadable gut feeling that it's southern Canada so here we've got similar to the first one there's a lot so that's round three that's not much better a little bit better, got 503 points only, uh, 3,426 kilometers out. Uh, there's a place called uh, Shingle Town out in uh, California. You know, North America is such a huge continent, so it's easy to be way out. So after two, three rounds, I'm not even on 3,000 points, just shy, 2,958 points out of 15,000, making it uh, 19.7 percent so I'm doing well below average I'll need to have two good rounds now so let's see how we can get on or rather how I can get on in the next and the last two rounds check it out so we've got a straight road with cornfields on either side of it uh, there's a white barn in the distance there, grass verge is an unbroken uh, yellow line, double yellow line along the road, yeah, centre of the road rather, is it North America yet again, the road continues to go straight, some changes appear in the distance as open field and some trees there as you can see. Right Suddenly we see a small house, there's a crossroad, so let's go left. There's uh, some smaller buildings, uh, perhaps uh, they are for food storage uh, with pickup trucks um, parked beside them. One, may, one or two may be derelict, uh, it's by a wider road with a footpath either side. And here we see a camper beside the house further down the road. And there are more houses as I go along. And unfortunately there are no clues as to the state that we are possibly in. That's the problem with the United States of America, generally North America, it's so huge. Um, sometimes yes the vegetation can give us a clue um, okay then so there are some garages and houses splattered here and there must be a town small town with a few hundred people perhaps a thousand um, it has a fair share of pickup trucks so there are no more clues um, there are some abandoned vehicles here to my left I see, so yeah, that's it, that's all we've got. Not too bad, 
too bad that round um, the actual place is called County Road Cray which is in uh, Nebraska far to the north of where I uh, marked um, so I was actually 1,403 33 kilometers to the south there uh, this is North America as I've said um, I got 1,912 points from that round I'll just move this round a little bit I'm now on 4,870 just shy of 5,000 points my percentage is now touching 30 29 and a half and I'll need a damn good last round to get n anywhere near the tech I won't get 10,000 anyway it's too late but let's see if I can get as close to it as possible with this final round so let's check it out shall we here we can see some fortification rules to the right ahead it's a historic place in the ancient world perhaps see your lake visible over the wall to the left there um, some ruins perhaps uh, uh, there's a narrow road going up hill, smaller trees ahead, and there's a car parked in the lay-by, uh, some old Fiat, so maybe Italy. Uh, to the other side, there's a large uh, wall again, it's a resort, mountains uh, in the background, maybe we're in the ancient world here. here we so there are more smaller vehicles, so if it's ancient and beautiful, I think I'm going to go for, um, hmm... Mainland Greece. Right, let's see it. Let's see it. Great result. 4,599 points. So that's the last round. Final round. And that's a great one. That salvaged me. 140 or so kilometers out. Uh, it's a place called Polopnes, Mainland Greece. Um, so uh, now, in summary, um, I got 4,599 points that round giving me a total of 9,469, so I was 531 points shy of my target, 37.8%, below par, uh, I've had better rounds, I'm normally above the 10,000 when I do it most of the time, but here you've got the time pressure, usually I don't uh, work under that time pressure. So oh, only one guess was far out, so 9,469 points in total. So only one guess. So thanks for, for viewing. I'll be back in a few weeks time with another challenge, another GeoGuessr free version challenge. It's all, I'm just doing the free ones. I'm not going to commit myself. Even if it's $1.99 a month, I'm not going to commit myself. Um, and I'll make sure I do it on the full screen. I am sorry about the quality. Um, I hope it doesn't bother you. Um, if it does, then sorry. Next time it will be on full screen. Um, so my next videos, um, something about the uh, COVID-19 statistics. That will be in Polish. And then next week I'll have the second part of my Polish film, short film, Szczana, that'll be the final part, so check them out, whether you speak Polish or not, and once again, don't forget to like, comment, and if you're not a subscriber, please of course, uh, subscribe to my channel, in any case, I love you all, subscriber or not, so there you are, oops. And thanks again for viewing. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Lucky losers. Oh, lucky losers. Oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Oh, lucky losers. Oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky do. Oh, lucky losers. Oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky do. Oh, lucky losers. Oh, lucky losers. Lucky, lucky, lucky do. Thank you.